if by any chance you have migrated your MindPy into your wallet, please do not do this. If you're just joining me, this is Basic Knowledge, where I provide you with simple and basic knowledge to everything, especially the crypto world. Now, a lot of questions have been coming to me. A lot of people have been leaving comments below asking me how they can recover their wallet because they've lost their passphrase. If you fall in this category, then pay attention. Your passphrase is actually your key to your wallet. Your wallet contains the mind pie. When you create your pie wallet, you're asked to create a passphrase. When you create a passphrase, the simple thing is for you to secure that passphrase. Now, when you create that passphrase, you're supposed to manually secure it. And how do you do that? One, you either write it somewhere or save somewhere where you alone can have access to it. The second way that you can secure your passphrase is most mobile phones these days have biometrics. What do I mean? Either fingerprints or the face IDs in the case of iPhones. So if you have any of these functions in your mobile phone, it's expected that you activate either the face ID or you activate the thumbprint. Now this will help you log into your wallet seamlessly, but it does not give you access to your passphrase. If you want to have access to your passphrase, just in case you have forgotten it, once you log into your wallet using the biometrics, either the fingerprint or the face ID, you could actually go through the settings to find where you can display your passphrase. And once it's displayed, you cannot copy it and have it saved. If by any chance you have migrated your MindPy into your wallet and at the same time have connected your wallet to the main net, please do not do this. If you carry out the sequence I'm about to show you or tell you, you will lose every Pi you have migrated into your wallet. So this is a disclaimer. I'm not asking you to do it. Only do it if you have not migrated your MindPy to your wallet. The first thing you need to do is you need to disconnect your wallet from the main net. Very simple way to do that is to go straight to your Pi wallet. Click below where it says you can recreate your wallet. So once you take the option to recreate a new wallet, what the system does is it simply deletes the old wallet, creates a new wallet for you, and then you have a new passphrase. Remember that when you create a new wallet, you will lose the old wallet, including the MindPy associated with that wallet. You now have to go back to your checklist, to connect the new wallet to the main net. Failure to connect the new wallet to the main net simply means that you are asking the system to keep recognizing the old wallet as your main wallet. Once you have connected the new wallet to the main net, all you need to do once again is log into it. Like I said, activate the ID and also try to activate the fingerprint if any of these options is available to you. Simply go to your wallet. Testnet mainnet are the options you will find. Select mainnet, then go straight down. You would see that the mind pie is now migrated into your wallet. How do you move up to available balance? you would see the option migrate. When you click on that, you see the option that says move. Simply click on the button move and everything will move to your available balance. Now, if you found this video interesting and educative, hit the like button, click on the subscribe button to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to smash the like button. It doesn't cost anything. Until my next video, keep mining.